Good afternoon everyone, this is James the Local Viking, and in this video, we're going to go over how to use a GeoGrid tool to prospect for clients. So when you run a GeoGrid tool, it's usually used to see how your clients' ranks are doing. So Auckland Family Dental, Milford Family Dental, uh, is a business we ran a scan for, and our keyword is dentist. This is how they rank in Google Maps. Now what we can do is, if we click on these nodes, here's our client, here's everyone in front of him, here's everyone behind him. And as you can see, at every single node, we can see where our client ranks, who's in front of him, and who's behind him. So how can you use this for prospecting? Well, what I would do is click the CSV button, we'll let that download. And what this is going to do is give you a CSV version. Oops. Let me do that again. It's going to give you a CSV version of all the listings in every single node. So this is what the CSV file looks like. You're going to have latitude and longitude. You're going to have the name of the listings the order, what rank they are in each node, the review rating of each listing, if there's a phone number, their address, city, county, opening hours, and place ID, as well as any images tied to the listing. Up here you have the business we ran the GeoGrid for and a search term. Our grid size was 13 by 13, so Assuming every node has 19 results, as we see here, you're going to have 13 times 13, which is 169, times 19 results in each node, which should bring you to 3,211 results, which looks about right. So, the easiest way to handle this amount of data is to set yourself a few rules. First, we're going to take this data for our purposes of prospecting. We don't need this information up top, so we can go ahead and delete that. Then we're going to turn the rest of this data into a table. And let's see here. Uh, here we go. Now, before we start sorting the data, once again, every node is represented by up to 19 results. You can tell those results are in the same node because the same latitude and longitude is going to be uh, shown throughout all 19, up to 19 results. So here we have a whole other set of results we can see the latitude and longitude are slightly different. So now what I would do is make some rules. So do you want to target uh, companies that have low reviews? You know, maybe you're after, maybe you're more of a review focused uh, agency. You can do that. So let's go ahead and set that scenario up. I'm going to say anyone that has below a four star review, I want to target. Okay, so now you only see listings that have a, a 3.9 below. Let's go ahead and sort it by name and take out any duplicates. So we'll go to data, reject duplicate entries. Uh, Remove duplicates. That's weird. Name. There we go. So here are the listings throughout the nodes that followed your rules. 
these are the seven listings that appeared for the keyword dentist in the area that have a rating of 3.9 and below. So now you can make your pitch to them. You see that they not only have low ratings, they also have somewhat low rankings. None of these fall in the map pack at any node. And you can create your sales pitch from there. So let's go back and reset all of our attributes again. I'm just going to put back the table. Now let's say you're more focused on ranks in Google Maps. All right. Well, let's make some rules again. I'm going to sort this time by order. I want anyone that is fourth, fifth, or sixth in maps. And these are just my personal rules for this example. You can make any set of rules. Reason why I'm thinking about fourth, fifth, and sixth is because they're not in the map pack yet, but they're close. So if they sign up, I wouldn't have nearly as much work to do as someone who's maybe seventh and below. That's just my methodology. Uh, you're welcome to implement your own rules. So now I press OK. Now I only see listings that are fourth, fifth, or sixth in maps or any of those nodes. Once again, I'm going to sort by the name, select everything here. Uh oh, what happened? Oh. Scroll down again. Um, hmm, that's weird. One more time. Great. We're going to go to data, remove duplicates. Go to the name. So here are the results that fell within our new rule set. These businesses are ranking fourth, fifth, or sixth in the maps. And they are very close to being a map pack. So now we can go ahead and once again make our sales pitch. You know, hey, we see you are not actually in the map pack. For the most part, here's our data proving why. And here is how we can help. If you want to show them a more visual, so let's say Smile Dental is what we're targeting. Okay. Let's look for Smile Dental in these nodes. Uh, let's see here. You can either click around the nodes to try to find Smile Dental. Because if you find it, you don't have to run another GeoGrid scan on it. Or you can just simply run a GeoGrid scan just for Smile Dental. So here we found Smile Dental. So we can flip the viewpoint to Smile Dental now by clicking that I button. And this is how Smile Dental ranks. So, yes, they are actually fourth in maps up here in Rosedale. Maybe they're focused on Rosedale. That could be the case. Um, but for the most part, down here in the southeastern area, they don't rank at all. So, from there, you can make your sales pitch and try to land them as a client. Let's look at one more. Let's look at Rosedale Dental. So once again, we can make a brand new GeoGrid scan for them, or we can just flip the perspective of the GeoGrid scan we have. So let's try to look for Rosedale Dental. Uh, let's see here. Uh, or we can just say another dentist. I don't want to spend too much time clicking around. Let's say we're trying to prospect uh, Baron Dental Group. I think I saw them before. Let's see here.
Okay, here's Roseo Dental. So let's go ahead and click on the eye there, flip to perspective. And they also do not rank that well overall. Yes, there is six in maps for that one single node. Once again, maybe they're ranking a little bit better up north. And you can just run a scan on them up north to see how they rank over there as well. So we would just go ahead, do a new GeoGrid scan, put in rows there, dental. Let's see, they are in Auckland. And set up the GeoGrid scan for them. But this is how you would go ahead and prospect using for using GeoGrid technology. And that concludes our video. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye now.